Hey guys, welcome to the session by K21 Academy. In this session, we are going to get started with Power BI. Now let us take a quick glance at the agenda. Firstly, we will see how can Power BI services and applications work together. Post that, we will see how can Power BI make your business more efficient. And finally, we will be performing a demo where we will be learning how to create an on Microsoft account using Azure Active Directory. And then we will see how to create visualizations and reports and also we will see how to publish them to Power BI Cloud. So we have taken a clip from one of our certification training program on Microsoft Data Analyst Associate DA100. And in this clip, our expert will be performing a demo on Power BI and explain you how to get started with Power BI. Let's get started with lesson number four. In lesson number four, we'll uh, check out what is Power BI. And as part of Power BI, we'll get a look and feel of how Power BI looks and feels like, what type of way can we use it and we will try to do one small demo with the help of Power BI. So Power BI help me create various stories with data. We can create reports over there, dashboards. We can connect various locations and uh, application as well. And Power BI uh, is available. Power BI mobile is there. Power BI desktop is also there. And Power BI services by which I can also publish my reports using Power BI services and that report can be published as, or you can say which can be accessed by anyone else as well. Various very nice looking uh, reports can be created. So let's quickly go in, have a look at how do we create these reports. Now let's get started with Power BI. You have to install Power BI desktop first, which is free of cost. You can look it up in any of your search browser and install it. Once you have installed, you have to log in over there, basically sign up for free and it will ask for corporate account to sign up. So most probably you might not be having corporate account. So the workaround for not having corporate account will be go to your Azure Active Directory over here and in Azure Active Directory, click on user, new user, make a new user, uh, reset the new user's password and log in with that user over there. So that user will be equal to corporate user because it is having that on Microsoft.com. Uh, attached to it at the end of it. So just make one user and with that user you can sign up in Power BI. So that will go ahead. It will do some next, 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 but you will be able to finally sign up. Now what I'm doing, I'm getting some data. So let's say you are working for Sunglass retailer and he or she is asking for you to give uh, one report on uh, in which states should we sell these sunglasses. So you are responsible for making it. So now I'm pulling some data and uh, this data is coming from this website where we have best and the worst of all the states. So the logic which we are thinking of is that if if this sun, uh, if it's more shine, uh, you can say uh, sunny in some states that then being more sunny is more liable to sell more sunglasses over there. That's one of the logic which we are thinking about. And uh, so we have all the states over here and we will merge that particular data with another data set. And we will try to create our own uh, data set where we will be able to have that type of logic created. So we have weather data with us and afford affordability as well. So if it is more affordable, then you can you can say then you can easily purchase luxuries or easily purchase sunglasses, good quality sunglasses and so on and so forth. Just, just being that it's more affordable in that particular state like that. So I do not need a couple of columns over here. So I want to remove crime, culture, weather, wellness, I don't need. Wellness, uh, wellness I don't need, weather makes sense. So if I sort it down in reverse order, uh, sort of uh, or maybe ascending order so uh, you can say so we are looking for those states where weather is most, mostly clean as such and uh, weather is not uh, you can say it's not much cloudy it is basically having uh, it's basically sunny over there that's what we are thinking about you can also sort it out. You can simply uh, sort of, uh, you can say multiple. So play around with the uh, play around with uh, Power BI. You can even add rows, remove rows, and so on and so forth. Maybe I want to remove bottom ten rows from there. 
so i have till what uh, 40 states with me michigan new york uh, new mexico and so and so forth you can have a look at it over here now if you delete something which you want to get back just this is the right hand side we have all the applied steps you can just cross it that step will come back so this is all good let's just rename this uh, table over here and uh, let's try to give it the name sunglass glass sales maybe maybe like this and i want to have another source i want abbreviations as well like states and abbreviations over there so i'm pulling that information from wikipedia so this is wikipedia link and from wikipedia basically i'm looking for codes and abbreviations and uh, that's okay so again i don't need header let's remove couple of columns from here let's try to i don't need oh sorry i clicked on it so i don't want this header column removed iso not really and all this doesn't make sense other abbreviations i don't want other abbreviations i just want uh you can say abbreviations over here now first of all i am just looking for states and not anything else union territories and so and so forth so i just want to give states over here i think uh, in this particular manner and uh, I'm just looking for the second column and uh, it's basically over here so and it's not having s so let's sort it out like that so I only have states now and uh, apart from states so this these are all the 50 states as such and uh, let's name these columns little better they do not make sense right now so we can say that this is state name and this can be status of that region like whether it's a state or what exactly is it so the status goes over there okay and the third one let's name that as abbreviation okay makes sense now let's rename this table to something which is more uh, easy to look at state codes like that looks okay now i'm going back to my previous table over here and i'm merging both the tables so sunglasses merge with state codes and which with which column do i want them to merge with and any privacy just ignore it for now and uh, that's all so you will we'll have one merged table now and we're looking for abbreviations over there so only abbreviations is what i'm looking for so this is my new table i have states affordability weather and state codes so what are we thinking of we will try to create let's click on close and apply and we are looking for basically we'll create one our uh, dashboard we, we, you can say we'll create one uh, uh, We'll have some visualization over here and we will publish the visualization as well as part of report so let's create this report and uh, we are looking for states so i drop it here and power bi is pretty smart it will automatically map it with the with the you can say map over here and uh, if i click on it i am looking for only those states which are having the clear weather you can say because that's where we think of where, where, where it is more sunny then we are thinking that basically if it is more sunny over there then it might be we might be able to sell more sunglasses in that those locations and i can also i'm basically looking for uh, let's say 
column chart over here. Let's drop this column chart. Oh, give me one second. Uh, let me drop that one more time and it was all good so let's organize it okay please move on the top that's great now i think this is good enough and let me just quickly check did it reset it the settings which i did over there and i'm looking for bottom 10 states with weather like that okay so just to see is it working or not I say a five and a five is applied okay let's say 10 and apply the filter it works that's great now i'm looking for one bar chart as well and in this bar chart let's put states and weather let's say states versus weather and uh, we are looking for same thing let's look for uh, oh sorry oh so this this you can you can further play with this if you click on it it will dynamically show you more details over there now so and then you can create more pages as well in this report you can click on next you can have another page over there maybe this time we can go for a table as such and in this table, we can represent data in different format. So let's say affordability and let's drop states and affordability in those states and weather condition in those states and uh, something like this. So this is basically my table, which looks something like that. And you can further play this, play with this and this is just getting started with Power BI. Hopefully uh, you're able to get a feel of how do we work with Power BI and how, how do these reports work. And once you are done, you click on file and I just want to locally save it as well. So I want to locally save this as well. And once I have saved this, I will say publish. So oh, let me click on publish yeah okay my workspace published there that's amazing and let it publish so once this is published we are expecting that it will go into uh, so we will be able to see this getting published and you can locally have a look at it as well or you can uh, literally uh, open this in app.powerbi.com you can directly log in over there as well manually open app.powerbi.com and once you log in click on workspaces uh, sorry click on my workspaces basically uh, let's say let's try to click on report demo this is the one which we just created and once you have it this is your report which is now published and it works like that two page report in this particular sense so this is how we get started with power bi and how do we get a look and feel of how power bi looks like right we have put down everything about the certification, including the basic concepts that one should be knowing. So you will be introduced with Microsoft Data Analytics, where you will be getting started with Power BI, prepare data in Power BI, where you will be getting data from various sources, clean, transform, and loading data into the Power BI, design a data model in Power BI, create measures using DAX in Power BI, optimize model performance, create reports, Create dashboards where you will be also creating real-time dashboards and enhance them. And create paginated reports in Power BI. Perform advanced analytics. Create and manage workspaces. Manage datasets in Power BI. And then the most important thing which is role level security. In this 8-week roadmap, we take you from basics to advanced level along with the tips and resources for clearing the certification exam. Once you are done with the certification, then you can start preparing for your CV and start applying for jobs. We also have a separate team working for CV preparation and on-job support. So if you want to become Microsoft Data Analyst Associate and want to learn right from basics to expert level, 
then we have a comprehensive step by step training for you that includes hands on labs including exam preparation and the most important part one year on job support if you are interested in this program then i would highly recommend you to attend our free class which covers why and who should learn data analyst platform what is data analysis how companies can benefit from data analyst power bi architecture power bi desktop power bi service and many other topics if you are interested in this free class you can visit k21academy.com/da1002 you can also find the link in the description